We hypothesized that social status would be transmitted along patri lines while women acquired their status through marriage. We revealed nine family relationships, which include 15 Mokri individuals, and we managed to attack three parent offspring relationship, two sibling relationship, three second degree relationship, and one cousin relationship. Nine out of 24 individuals did not have a close genetic relationship to any other individual, but interestingly, they were all females. So this extended relationship was detected between individuals in double burials to 157 and the individual which was buried in close proximity, 243. And double burial consisted of two individuals, an older woman and a small boy. The only uh, gray good which was found in this burial was a simple beaker, which suggested that these individuals were of lower status. The second degree relationship was detected between these individuals. On contrary, a man who was 20 to 30 years old at the time of death, from the burial 243, which was just next to a double burial, was buried with a beaker and an axe, and an X is considered to be a higher social marker. This individual was in parent offspring relationship with an older woman from the double burial, and it was also in the second degree relationship with a small boy from the double burial. The results of kinship analysis are now taken together with haplotypes obtained from sequencing, and this pyogenetic data was combined with anthropological and archaeological evidence to infer whether wealth and social status, which were indicated by grey goods, were inherited or achieved in the Mokri necropolis. And based on these results of kinship software and obtained haplotypes, a woman from the double burial was identified as the mother of the younger man from the burial 243. And here, Grey Goods suggested that he could not inherit his status, but he had to acquire it during his life. At least he could not inherit it through mother line. And the small boy, he was also in the second degree relationship with both individuals and with older woman and also the man from the grave 243. But here Hapl groups suggested that there was a little bit more complicated relationship between the individuals 243 and the small boy and suggested that they were maybe double cousins. As young boy from the double burial did not have any valuable markers besides him, he also probably didn't inherit the higher status from his cousin. 